Yo, what is going on, y'all? It's your boy, Phil, and we are back with another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about something interesting. I got a comment because in one of my last videos about DoDash, someone actually commented that they disagree or they don't like the way that I said something. And basically, I, I referred to her doing black, black stuff, acting black on YouTube when she's been scamming people and doing stuff like that. And somebody said, what she did is not black shit. Why refer to something bad to always being black shit? And I'm a realist, man. Like I, I really am a realist. You you gotta you gotta be honest at a certain point because if you can't be honest with yourself, the cycle will not change. The cycle will continue repeating itself. Black people are are the only ones constantly focused on gang shit. And I'm not talking about I'm talking about stupid gang shit. Not the not because the the stock market, these hedge funds and stuff like that, those are big gangs too. The politics gangs like it's gangs everywhere but gangs when you refer to it in a black manner it's always dumb senseless violence nobody making money it's like what what is the point so when she's out here she has an opportunity like youtube she dodash has an opportunity like youtube people listen to her people hear her she has a powerful voice that can influence she's taken a gift from god and she's literally abusing it to the point and manipulating it and scamming people. It's like you're using everything God's given you to hurt others, to hurt God's people. It's sad. Like, that's some black shit. It really is. Because at the end of the day, she could have been, she could have chose a positive route. She could have put in a little bit more effort. She could have give she could have really given true value to her audience. And this is why I believe that she's a bad look for black YouTube. Because Black people are much more than she is on this platform. And I feel like she comes across as if she's this powerful, strong woman giving this great message and things like that. But when you keep watching it, you really see her for who she really is and her true colors comes out. She's just another con artist. She's just another, another black person that's full of shit. And that's a bad look. And I hate the fact that those are the people willing to get up off their ass and get to work. That's why I be tilted in my videos because there's so many talented creators out here. Creators better than me, creators better than her, creators better than a lot of people on this platform. And y'all scared. Y'all scared to just post, scared to put in work, scared to make an effort, scared to show people that, that our people can bring more to the table than just the bullshit that people like her is out here is, and doing. Like, it, it's ridiculous. So when I say that, that what she's doing is black shit, it is black shit. Where's the, where's the true success? She made a money. She made money for a couple months. Now she's going downhill already. Black shit. <laughs> like, like she, she's going downhill already. Oh, she, she ain't even had. She hasn't even had a year of success, and she's already headed back. She round tripping her career already. She went from nothing to something. Now going back down to nothing slowly. How do you round trip your success that quick just because you want to literally make the same video over and over and over and not elevate? When I first start popping on YouTube, like what, seven, eight, eight, nine years ago, something like that, I literally start vlogging. I start going to the gym. I start trying all different types of content. When I first, my first videos start popping off, I did a few videos that blew me up, and then I start trying different genres. I start blowing up in different stuff too. It's like, it's so easy to play this game, be good at it, and win, and do it the right way. It's and and I. Earlier on, before all of this happened, before she had already started to destroy her channel, I literally, for, for free, I analyzed her channel, broke it down, and, and I literally showed her, told her exactly what her audience wanted to see and exactly how to keep them engaged and exactly how to grow from where she was to hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And it's not no guessing with me. I am a hunt. I am him. I am that guy. I can get to 100,000 subscribers quick. As you can see by this channel right here that was built off of this hundred subscribers, hundred thousand subscribers that came from this channel was built by like two or three videos. Two or three videos in, in, in a couple of days, a, a couple of weeks. It's like, what you gotta understand is that black people always want to take shortcuts. This is why I respect people like DDG. You, you see content creators come up like DDG, he not only put himself on, he put everyone in his family on, all of his friends on. And then they do the, like, you know, the whole new streaming wave, the Kaisen that wave where everybody's doing this live streaming and stuff like that going around in real life. Now all the black YouTubers are on that together. 
And guess who's who's in the in the forefront of that too? DDG. It's like every they move together as a unit. Like this is what this is what it's supposed to be on a platform. This is this is what you're supposed to be bringing to a platform. You could be so much better. Like this this our presence here could be so much more. But DDG has been backpacking black YouTube for I don't know how long. It's like you got people out here doing challenges, degrading black women. You got people out here doing all type of weird shit, man. Just anything for the bag and anything for money. That type of content I don't really respect like that either. But it's what people want to see. It's all people care about. That's what we got. So many people talking about investment. I, I have a whole channel, Cavell Anderson. That's my that's my investment and finance channel. I have a whole channel teaching investing, finance, teaching you how to literally take a nine to five job, door dashing anything, and actually start flipping that and turning it into some real money through investments. It's very easy to do. This is not a hard concept to understand. The problem is people are focused more on Cardi B and all these other chicks and all this other random shit than actually focusing on how to take their money and make their money work for them. And they probably don't even know what that means. To have your, like people are so used to, oh, I had to grind for this, I worked for mine, like working for their money that they don't even realize the smart people in the world make their money work for them. Why are you working for money when you can make your money work for you? Your money is a tool, so it needs to be used and utilized like a tool. But people aren't even educated enough to know that. And that is, once again, black shit. Now, to be fair, this information is not in our school systems. You have to go out and pursue this. But the same way these girls and people can go out here and pursue learning how to twerk and all this other shit, you can go out and pursue learning the knowledge to actually build wealth. The same way you can go out and learn how to scam people and and, and rob people and and shoot people and all of this other stuff that takes being intentional, takes hard work and effort to learn how to do this, especially to do it well. The same effort that you could apply there, you could apply into something that can positively impact the world and positively change your life for yourself and your family as well. Like, I'm sick of black people's shit, to be honest. I'm tired of it. Like, it's like, y'all y'all don't get no pass. Like, and, and I because I am black, I can say it. Because... I, I, y'all ain't the only ones BSing. I fight with my own self on a daily basis. I have to fight my bad habits too. It don't come easy to nobody. But some people take the fight and some people run from it. Some people embrace not being shit. That's what I can't get behind. Embracing embracing nothingness is crazy. You should strive for more. You should want to be more. You should want to be better than you was yesterday. You should want to find a better way. And so many people don't want to find a better way. So many people don't want that. And and I, I, it was another comment that was that said something crazy too. It said something like, "Don't blame Dodash for this. the The real problem here is YouTube. YouTube allows her to do this. What? YouTube is not allowing her to do nothing. If people are watching her being full of shit, YouTube it's all about watch time. So you YouTube will keep recommending her videos because people keep watching it. And if people keep re wanting to see brain rot content or or, or BS content. It will keep being recommended. And, and to be fair, the algorithm is working against her. Her channel is slowly dying. It has been slowly dying for a while. So that's not even accurate. That's not like her channel has been dying for a while now. That's not accurate. Like she, She's killing her channel. So clearly the algorithm ain't supporting that. She was blowing up. And when she was on that trajectory up, I told her, you're on this great trajectory. This is what you have to do to maintain that momentum. Don't mess up like I did when I was rising up once before. Then she did, so she she did worse than I ever did, and she's losing it quicker than I ever have. It's like she's doing it in record time, and it's crazy. This is why she's going back to heavier scams, harder scams. Oh, help me get surgery so I can remove this fat and all like all this weird stuff like. Pathetic crying on YouTube for scraps, getting trying to get people to give you scraps when you was just up here on top of the world. And you the only reason you falling down is because you was too stupid and lazy to do the right thing when you got in that position. Then you want to sit here and try to inspire people jumping around doing all this. Oh, it's our time. Forget the haters. Like, nah, ain't nobody hating on your bum ass. Like, get up and do some real work. Ain't nothing to hate on about you. You got lucky. You had a few viral videos. You made a little bit of money off of it. Like, that's not nothing to be. Anybody can do that anybody can do that the difference is you don't know how you did it and your audience don't know how to do it but it's very easy to do but somebody like me i'm not teaching people how to do it for free that's why i have my course that's why i have the stuff that i have in the description i'm not doing it for free it took me 10 years i had to get off my ass for 10 years suffer do a lot of shit to learn how to do what i do now 
You're not getting it for free. I don't care who says what to me. Like, y'all can stay in the position that y'all in, because trust me, I'm good over here. I'm going to get off my ass and get to it every single day. That's what I'm going to do. So that's what it is. That's what it comes down to. So that man said, Hopefully I ain't come across too harsh or nothing like that, man. But it is what it is, man. I, I just speak what's on my mind and what's on my heart. You you can you can respect it or you can dislike it. It don't really matter. This I'm gonna keep working. I'm, I'm gonna keep working. I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna keep going for it. We need people on this platform working their ass off and becoming better and improving, improving and making a platform a better place and making us all look better on the platform. Black, white, race don't really matter to me. But I just hate anytime it's some some black shit going on. It's, it's it's somebody that looks like me. But yeah, that being said, let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.